of the topics that we need to focus on for this winter is understanding of what we need to do for our winter annual forages as we get into uh, the latter part of this winter. Many of these forages have had a late start because of dry weather this fall and early winter. And so many of them are still kind of uh, underdeveloped and not very well tillered. One of the strategies that we need to employ is an understanding of how much nitrogen really needs to be applied to those pastures. If we think about the different types of forage crops, and here I've presented only three, but if we focus there on the bottom line of annual ryegrass, for example, um, when we fertilize it above a critical level of nitrogen fertility, and that's basically a maintenance requirement for, for, the, for the crop, when we fertilize to that level, anything above that critical level will respond uh, in, a, in a certain fashion. And depending on the time of the season, it depends on how much nitrogen value that we get, how much productive value we get out of that nitrogen. For example, early on in the season when the crop is relatively underdeveloped, um, annual ryegrass, for example, for every pound of nitrogen that we add over that critical value of, of nitrogen, would only give us a maybe five to 12 pounds of, of actual dry matter in response. Now later in the season, as that crop begins to better develop and more fully uh, tiller out and thicken in, we, we end up with a much better response, anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds of dry matter for every pound of nitrogen that's added. Now the challenge with this, especially in the early part of the season, we need to provide enough for that nitrogen, uh, for that crop to actually tiller in and to thicken out. But we also have to recognize that we need to provide only enough to, to pr accomplish that because the cost of putting that nitrogen out early on in the season like that and not getting a whole lot of response is very costly to uh, uh, a very expensive way of producing forage. If we look at the current price of nitrogen, for example, right now we're looking at about 75 cents per pound of nitrogen. And when we put out nitrogen and we only get maybe five or 10 pounds of dry matter for every pound of nitrogen that we put out, uh, we're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of eight cents to 15 cents per pound of dry matter in just the nitrogen cost. So the reality is, is that's very, very expensive. And you know, by comparison, corn prices, even as high as they are, are still in that uh, uh, 12 to $15 a pound mark. So that's very, very expensive. We need to look at avenues to reduce that per pound uh, cost to us. So if we put out nitrogen, we need to put it out in a, in a way where we're going to see a pretty substantial response to that nitrogen. We want to uh, get that out there uh, so that we're getting in the 15 to 20 to 25 or 30 pounds of dry matter range per pound of nitrogen rather than the lower levels of, of performance. Here's a picture that kind of illustrates the, the differences between uh, the types of crops. And even though these were side by side in the field, there's one there on the right that is a little bit more tillered, uh, not quite as well. Uh, the one on the left is not quite as well developed, uh, just not as many tillers and shoots coming off of that particular plant as uh, the one on the right. So the one on the right would be much more uh, responsive to nitrogen, whereas the one on the left would be much less responsive. So if your pasture is much more of the type that's on the left, um, you need to be careful about putting on too much too early. Uh, put out enough nitrogen for, to meet the maintenance requirements so that it continues on, but uh, just be careful about putting on too much uh, or uh, uh, vast amounts of nitrogen until you get much more uh, mature with, uh, with your crop.